You villains think you're so smart. You found a way to take down the barrier and now you're trying to take over Oridon. But if you guys have it all figured out, why do you look so scared in the official D3 trailer? We're looking at you, Uma and Harry. We thought you guys were fearless pirates, but it looks like there's something out there that's got you shaking in your boots. A great evil, one from within that cannot go without will have their revenge. Uma and Harry met their match because they seriously look freaked out. But what are these two adventurous pirates so afraid of? Keep watching to find out. Surprise, surprise. Opening the gates of Oridon for her friends and no one else. Is it Audrey? Whether Audrey plays a hand in Oridon's destruction or not, it's safe to say that the princess looks super suspicious. Sure, she might have been seen taking a hundred-year nap in her bed throughout the new D3 trailers, but there's just too much evidence against Audrey for her to turn out squeaky clean. We also know for a fact that Uma and her crew of pirates want nothing more than to take down the barrier once and for all, so they're basically the bad guys, right? But if that's true, why on earth do we see Uma and her first mate Harry looking like they saw a ghost in the mystery trailer. It just doesn't make sense. To make matters even more confusing, we see Uma grabbing at her seashell necklace as she stares up at the night sky. In Under the Sea, a Descendant short story, we see how powerful Uma's necklace really is. It's wearing dizzy, and Uma's voice is booming out of it. I wouldn't say that Dizzy's wearing my necklace. It's more like my necklace is wearing Dizzy. She can control whoever's wearing the necklace, but since Uma's the one wearing it in the mystery trailer, we doubt she's controlling anyone at that given moment. If Audrey does indeed have the scepter, it's possible that she's coming for Uma and Harry. If she's the one who turned the VKs to stone, she might be angry with the pirates for helping out their enemies. So perhaps she's using the scepter to fly over the forest and turn anyone she crosses to stone. Uma might be grabbing at her necklace because it's what helps her transform into a giant octopus. Uma might be preparing to fight Audrey or whoever's out to get her and Harry, but unfortunately it looks like Uma and Harry are far from the sea, which might stop her from being able to transform. But if Audrey is really chasing the VKs through the forest and onto the Oridon prep grounds, our favorite pirates might end up being turned into stone like EVJ, Carlos, and Ben. But before we go and blame the entire thing on Audrey, let's look at some other options. Is it Celia? Celia's a wild card, one that we have no idea how to judge. If it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense, is her motto. So you'd think that she'd want Oridon's economy to keep thriving. After all, it's filled with rich suckers she can fool. You're going to meet a tall, handsome stranger. <laughs> I already have. It looks like Celia is playing her own game, and she might have something to do with Uma and Harry running scared through the woods. Celia loves reading people their tarot, but just like her father, Celia's cards have double meanings. So what if she read Mao's tarot and secretly cast a spell on her? Since Mao can transform into a dragon, it's possible that Celia's magic is preventing Mao from seeing clearly. We see Mao turn into a dragon throughout the trailer, and we also see her blasting an enemy with dragon fire. Mao later says that I had no choice! which could mean that she was cursed to act like a wild, fire-breathing dragon. If Dragon Mal is on a rampage, then Uma and Harry should definitely be scared. This is especially true if Uma betrayed Mal or tricked her into trusting her throughout the threequel. Is it Mal? Mal is one of the good guys, but she does have a bad reputation. While she might be King Ben's fiance, she's also Maleficent's daughter, which makes her sort of unpredictable. I'm back. The last thing Mal wants is to hurt someone, but that could quickly change if everyone she loves gets turned to stone or put to sleep. There are a few reasons why Uma and Harry might be running through the woods while glancing up at the night sky, but they don't all have to be bad. Descendants fans are hoping that Uma and Mal will become friends again in D3, and if this is the case, Uma might be tracking Mal to stop her from doing something she regrets. If Mal's need for vengeance is too strong, she might end up harming Audrey beyond repair, which is something she would surely regret. So maybe Uma and Harry were with Mal when she transformed and are tracking her down to talk her out of her current 
its state. The tables will definitely turn if Uma tries to get Mal to remember that she's good. But there's also a another possibility. What if Uma and her crew of pirates are actually responsible for the sleep spell and the stone spell? What if they tricked Mal and her crew into trusting them, only to betray Mal when she needs them the most? If this is the case, Mal would turn into her dragon self in a flash and go on a pirate hunt in no time. Seeing your friends and fiancé get turned to stone and being unable to help them is more than enough motive to do something hasty. We just hope that Uma and Harry are able to get themselves out of this sticky situation. Because, well, we happen to think that they're misunderstood pirates who are fundamentally good. Since there's nothing scarier than a fire-breathing dragon, it would make total sense for Uma and Harry to be gazing up at Mal in a state of total fright. What do you guys think? Are Uma and Harry running for their lives? Or trying to stop Mal from making a huge mistake? Sound off in the comments section. For more videos about your favorite Descendants characters, subscribe to The Things. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.